Hey, what is up, everybody? I decided to go with round two of Prison Basketball since that video actually did super good just for one hanger pack. I decided to get the last one that was available at my local Walmart. But before I get into that, I'm going to go through some of my recent pickups from either auctions or other things. So, first off, we'll start with Jimmy Gunn's auction. I would say that I was pretty successful in that auction. I bought quite a few cards from that. So let's start out with basketball. And we're actually got a Prism lot. So we got this dominant Walt Frazier from Prism. Green. Probably retail. We'll put the we'll put this top loaded card down. That's a PC card, actually. We have this Amar Starmeyer Phoenix Suns. 197 199 blue parallel. That actually looks really nice in person. And we have this Robin Lopez. 196 and 199. So I got 196, I got 197. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, let's get into the big card of the lot, alright? So this is for the PC. Probably my best Pistons card. 36 of 49. Andre Drummond. And out of 49 is the orange. So this is probably my biggest Detroit Pistons prism card that I have. I would say the Bruce Brown was, but out of 49 is better in my opinion, I would say. Besides a silver Bruce Brown who really isn't that valuable. Alright, let's go to the next thing. I scored a pretty decent lot, I would say, with this one. So, I got this Tom Brady lot. You have this Elite Series Tom Brady from this year's Optic. If you saw my past video, I did open some Optic. Pretty fun break, I would say. It's kind of disappointing for me at the end, though. I actually just ripped that when it comes to recording-wise. Uh, we got this Tom Brady Tops card. Base card. We have this Tom Brady Limited base card. And we have this Tom Brady from Prime Signatures. Where is that? Panini, 2016 Panini Prime Signatures. So, for the four of them, this card I've seen cost for seven fifty four. I sniped this, alright? I got the entire lot for $5. So that was a great pickup for me. Alright, let's go to probably two of the best cards, I would say, maybe. In that auction when it comes to football. So we'll start out with this rookie card of TJ Yeldon from, I'm going to guess, 2015 Prism. It's like this red parallel. I don't really know what it's called. But it's 65 out of 99 for TJ Yeldon from, yeah, I was right, 2015 Prism. So that's a really nice card to get, really. My mom is actually a Jags fan. She might like that. Who knows? And anyways, with that same lot, I got the TJ Elden and this card both in the same lot. Five bucks, actually. Not bad for a pretty decent card, I'd say. Here it is from Topps Fire. Uh, 475 of 500. Three-color patch. Topps is really crazy with those three-color patches and their numbering. But we got this Haran card. can't remember what his name is. Robert Haran, that's right. Pretty sure I'm butchering that name, but who knows. Tops Fire, what year Tops Fire? 2014 Tops Fire. Really nice card, really nice looking. I like how the fire works with the Buccaneers logo and everything. So there you go, that's going to do it for football. And before that mail that happened a couple weeks back, I ended up uh, getting what I thought were my first ever uh, baseball hits, alright? So, we'll start out with this Thomas Nito from, what was it, Grit, it, it wouldn't be Gridiron Kings, it'd be something else. Diamond Kings, that's right. Diamond King Materials. But, I got a, what is it, Thomas Nito for the New York Mets. That's player worn, of course, Panini would do that with player worn material, even with baseball. And usually with tops. Baseball is usually game used. Now these next two cards are not tops, they are actually 
Uh, one's Fleer. And they're both Alfonso Soriano. Alright. So this is an authentic game used bat. It's my first bat relic. Well, this is my first baseball relic, actually, that I bid on. Got it for a dollar. You can't beat that. 261 of 399. Really nice. For how old it was, numbered cards were really hard to get. So I'm happy with that pickup. And here's the other one. We have a Alfonso Soriano from 2023. 2003 Playoff Prestige. A game worn jersey. Don't know which game that's from. I wish they told us. But Stars of MLB. This one's actually a really low numbering for 2003. 63 of 150. You can't beat that for such an old card. It's a photo from the eggs, which is just was just taken. Oh, nice. Oh, there is some dirt patch right there. I actually didn't notice that. This is actually a cool card. Also, I think I either got it for a dollar or a dollar fifty. It might have been switched around. Alright, the next thing we got before we get into a Buck City break is we got a, another sizzle pack from Mikey B. So, once again, there's Mikey B's information. Really awesome, dude. Highly recommend him, really. Awesome, dude. I'm not going to cover a staffer, so I'm going to have to pull it back because that staffer is too beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, Mikey. But anyways, here's what I got out of the hot pack. Got a Marcel Aitman rookie, which I was in a buck city break a couple days ago. Absolutely skunked. It, was, it wasn't even just skunked. It was like, yeesh. Because I didn't even hit a card, and everyone else was hitting everything. There was a one-of-one one Drew Brees autograph, which is absolutely insane. A Rob Gronkowski one-of-one one redemption autograph. So, that was insane. I thought I might have got myself something, and... Not a card. <laughs> yeah, it is a, I would say, a um, a gamble, but it's a nice gamble. I usually do pretty good with those. But here are some of the cards from the Sizzle Pack. We got this Mike Gusecki, Jason Witten, out of 75. Got this Dion King from this year's Select, out of 175. Got this Harold, not, I thought it was Harold Landry when I first show, saw it, but it's Rashawn Evans, autograph from XR, my first actual autograph from XR, 133 of 199, probably should have shown this one before, but we have this Malcolm Mitchell from Unparalleled, I'm going to say 2017 Unparalleled, but it's a screen variation, and it is also out of 199, really trippy card, I would say. Probably what some people saw in LSD in the 70s. Back to Woodstock, that probably gave a lot of people some flashbacks. Alright, it's Corey Littleton. My friend is a uh, Rams fan, which yeah, he actually was before they actually started doing good. I always call him a bandwagon just because. But Corey Littleton from this year's Contenders, not horrible. Haven't shown my friend, might get jealous. And then we ended up getting an extra hit in it. Even though this wasn't the last hit in the entire thing. This is the extra hit. This Tori Smith from Bowman Sterling. Rookie card. Not a bad card at all. I would say. Then we got this. Uh, Thomas Davis All Pro. 16 of 49. So that's a nice little short print right there. Really nice card. I like the disco on it. And then, if you saw my last video, you know that Valdez Scantling is following me. And I mentioned this card in it. Even though I probably should have mentioned it. Probably should have opened the Optic Blaster after I made this video. But, Marquez Valdez Scantling from Playbook. And that is actually an eBay 1 of 1. 1 out of 199. So I guess I'll take it. Hate the Packers with everything. And I also, I don't know if I hate this dude or not. But this was probably my favorite card of the entire thing. So we have this from King Sue. Certified Gamers from 2017 Certified. 37 of 99. And what makes me like this card so much. Certified Gamers. It is a game worn piece of material. I wish they showed me what game it was. I really wanted to know that. But still. Game use material. X-Lion. I think I'll keep it for the PC. Why not? 
Alright, now the BCB break. Didn't get anything too great. We went into a Contenders Optic break. And we only got like three cards, but I did get a nice number card out of it. So we got this Matthew Stafford base. This Marmer Jones Jr. base. And we got this Matthew Stafford. Red. Out of, you guessed it, 199. Love 199 and Panini products now. Alright. Hopefully we can get him 199 out of this pack. Probably not. But like I said earlier, we got ourselves another Prism hanger pack. Now I liked what I saw last time and I wanted to do it again and also Chance I Luca? Why not? This is the last pack there. Hopefully not pack searched. If it was, I'm gonna be really devastated. Probably not though. I'm living in a pretty good neighborhood. But without further ado, let's get this thing open. Alright. I'm already pushing the video way longer than it should be. Goodbye. Alright. So, three packs here. Let's see what we can get ourselves. Pack one. Well, that is a great start. Got a Kevin Knox, and we have a green right, almost right behind it, but Kevin Knox rookie. There we go. I'll take it. Nice. Thought maker. And we have a green of <laughs> Yao Ming. Oh, I almost sung the song, but I'd rather not right now. <laughs> no, I'll probably actually put that in the video somewhere. Um, we have Dante Exum. So Kevin Knox, first pack. Already fire. I'll take it. Second pack. Alright, we have a silver in this pack. We have Dragon Bender. When we have a Gorn Dragic as our silver card here. And we have a freshman free now. I actually have an autograph for this guy. Uh Josh Kogi. He's actually not bad. I didn't, I didn't think he'd be that great. And Joseph Nurkic. I can't I can't really pronounce his name, but he's been balling lately. Really good player. Not gonna lie. Now we have two more packs, and then we have our red, white, and blue pack. Let's see what we can get. Got one rookie, one fire rookie, actually. Sweet! There we go. He's now a piston. I'll take it. Alright, Sweet. Oh, there's two rookies in this pack. We have the dunk contest winner. Nice! We have Hamadou Diallo, and this is a great pack. This has been a great pack so far. LeBron James, I'll take it. Team isn't doing that great. He's still putting up numbers. Why not? And then Mark is not so smart after what he did with Joel Embiid. Oh, man, putting your name to shame, buddy. All right, now we have our red, white, and blue pack. What I've been waiting for. Here we go. It's been a fun video. I enjoy making this video. Let's see what we got. Alright. So. CJ McCollum. We don't have a rookie. Seth Curry. And Avery Bradley. Yeah, wah, wah. But, in terms of rookies and inserts... Very nice pack. We got, what was it, three rookies out of that? We got the Kevin Knox, the Diallo, and the Sfi. And I'll take it. So I thank you guys for watching. It was a fun video to make, all those pickups. Some of those will be available, I'll tell you that right now. But I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.